it was supposed to rain so much more than it is right now, which is nice. But this is like the amount of rain that's just inconvenient enough. It's like a very, very heavy sprinkle, <laughs> which means that I can't take the tarp off just yet, but I also should get some work done. This morning, I'm gonna start out by putting the subfloor back in. That heater's been on for like at least a day and a half now. And so it's really dry. It's very warm in there, which is really nice. And all the pieces are dried out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back in now that I know what the problem is, why I was leaking. And then if I have enough time today, I'm going to take all the windows out and start making internal frames for them. So that way they sit like they should and I don't have more leaking problems. All right, the floor is back in and looking like it did a couple of days ago, which feels very silly, but there are a lot of positives and I'm trying to focus on that right now. My floor actually feels more secure than it did before. I don't know why this time screwing it in made it feel better, but it's squeaking a lot less. It's moving a lot less. Everything is completely dry. The windows, well, the whole camper is still covered in a tarp, so I know they're not gonna leak. And so next up is fixing the windows or the window frames, because the windows themselves are actually just fine. After doing more reading, which is what I should have done before purchasing these, and I can only recommend it to you guys, read all of the instructions and don't cut any corners when you're doing stuff like this, is it either need a hardwood or aluminum to frame out the inside to make sure that they have a very strong surface, a very hard, strong surface that can't compress over time behind the windows. So I'm gonna go to the store and either look for oak or a similar hardwood or aluminum tubing in a one inch by one inch width and like thickness to try to match the poly iso board that's already in there. So let's head to the store. locks eyes with you and gravely whispers, we become excited and get a hit of dopamine, which is a reward. So we decide to call it a day. We have a few more hours of light. It is raining so incredibly hard out right now. When we got home, there's an exciting package in the mail and I got some broccoli and salad mix sprouts, which is something new that I wanna try, especially when I'm back on the road. It can be hard to keep a lot of like fresh veggies and really nutritionally dense food. So I'm gonna start these today. I got the broccoli and the salad mix. This has alfalfa, radish, more broccoli and clover, and then this one's just broccoli. So I'm gonna see which ones I like. And apparently you only need like two tablespoons, and these are like head-sized bags, so this should last me a really long time. Well, even though the garage is covered, it's just super wet and damp out, and I have to take my windows out in order to start working on cutting the poly board away, but I don't really wanna open the windows or like take them off of the wall and just expose them to more moisture. So I think I'm gonna have some lunch and maybe start these guys and then get back at the camper later this afternoon.
it's a new day the camper is dried new subfloor is in the windows are out and drying because the seals still had a bit of moisture on them and I obviously want those to be as dry as humanly possible before I put them back in. And today I am going to really focus on framing these windows out. If you guys missed it in my emotional, crying, embarrassing video, I did put a little note because I pretty quickly figured out what had gone wrong gratefully. Looking at this, I thought, great, there's already solid backing behind it solid backing. So what I'm going to do is cut out around each of these windows. I have one inch by one inch square aluminum tubing that I'm going to put on the inside and essentially it's just going to give the inner framing, the flange that goes on the windows on the inside of the camper, something really stiff to mount against and pull or suck that exterior window with its weather seal in. After 48 hours roughly of troubleshooting and repairing, we are back to where we were a few days ago, but ahead in the sense that now the camper should be, in theory, wholly waterproof. I just finished installing the last two windows above the bunk. I've checked all of them with a bucket of water to make sure that they aren't leaking, and I'll come back later to make sure as well that nothing seeped in and is just slowly making its way down. But generally speaking, I think we are sitting much better than we were the other day. And I'm much more confident that this is gonna hold through tomorrow's storm because we just can't get a break from this rain. The next step is gonna be finishing up the caulking. So I'm gonna leave this blue tape and the tarp on still overnight, even though in theory it should hold just to make sure because I don't wanna clean up any other messes and I definitely don't wanna have to rip up my subfloor again. That said, tomorrow I think I'm going to be focusing on the LED marker lights that are in the back and front of the camper simply because those are two of the biggest things that are going to need to be pre-wired before I put my walls in. And after that, it's just going to be cleaning things out and putting in the base of the walls, which is really exciting and I think is going to make this place start to feel more like a camper again. Before I go, I just wanted to say thank you again to everybody who has been supporting me throughout this build. The other day when I posted that video crying with a flooded subfloor in the pouring rain, I definitely wasn't feeling great and you all made me feel very supported and like I could fix it. So thank you very much for that, for being here always and for following along on this journey. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow.